Tucker Carlson of Fox News took some time to punch down on one of America's most vulnerable populations, the homeless. And he did this by taking a story that wasn't necessarily that important and twisting it and sensationalizing it and really blowing it up to be something that it really isn't. And the most disgusting and nefarious part about this story is he doesn't just demonize the homeless. He tries to pit working class Americans against the homeless. So this propaganda piece is one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen, albeit this is effective propaganda, because if you don't know any better, if you don't actually have the details about the original story he's citing, this could be persuasive to someone who um, could be duped by this bullshit. So uh, take a look, and then I'll tell you why he is wrong if it's not already obvious to you by listening to him. Tens of millions of Americans are now unemployed and running out of money. The rest have to worry about losing their constitutional rights. In fact, many of them are gone. But one group of Americans has no worry at all about getting whatever they want, the homeless. In San Francisco, anyway, officials are putting up the homeless for free in city hotels and supplying them with free alcohol, drugs, and nicotine. Why are they doing this exactly? Joe Aliotto is a former San Francisco City Supervisor and DA candidate. Yep. He joins us tonight. Joe, thanks so much for coming on. I can't think of a clearer signal to taxpayers, citizens, people who try to do the right thing, stay sober, that we just hate you and are spending all of our time on people, you know, who who are contributing. I mean, honestly, people, I mean, wh why would they be giving the homeless free stuff? I don't understand. Well, it's not just that. The worst part about it is that, that we are taking a very vulnerable population and we're feeding their addictions. Um, and we're not using taxpayer dollars to do that, which begs the question, why is, um, you know, where is this money coming from? And uh, is the reason why we're not using taxpayer dollars is because it would otherwise not be legal to do. I mean, we know that's true on the federal level anyway. Um, but the, the idea that the government can poison a few people for the good of the many is, is in, it's immoral. It's, this has been debated over years. It's unconstitutional. It's very un-American, for that matter, and uh, by federal standards, illegal, which, which probably explains why some of the hotels, as you've read, in uh, the Los Angeles area are refusing to participate in the, uh, the housing of the homeless. So the Los Angeles City Council, I know you're from north in San Francisco, right. is threatening to, quote, commandeer hotels that don't want to become homeless shelters. I mean, I mean, just the, the, yeah. the level of concern. Them. Right. I mean, so and I, I look, I'm for helping the homeless. So many of them are mentally ill and need actual help. They don't want to need to live on the sidewalk. But the level of concern, all the concern seems to be for the homeless. Like, what about people who are trying really hard to do well for their kids and make the society better? Like, they're totally ignored. Why? That's right. Especially with the food shortage. We should be feeding their stomachs, not their addictions. Um, and uh, I guess they feel as though the rest of us can fend for ourselves. But um, I, I think the real concern here by the Department of Health, to give them a little bit of credit, is that they, they don't want to spread the COVID disease. Now, the, the, the facts don't pan out because some of these homeless people who are being housed in the hotels that are specific to this program that we're giving them methadone, marijuana, and alcohol, some of them are not even COVID positive. But what they're trying to do is force them into self-isolation by feeding these addictions. And there's, there's something very wrong about that. These are people that are otherwise not that legally detained, but the city is saying, no, 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 we wanna make sure you stay in these hotel rooms so you don't poison other people, and we're gonna feed your addictions to make sure that you stay there. It, there's, there's something very cruel about that. And uh, the fact that you know, we're not taking care of uh, the rest of the city in, in, in many ways and feeding some of the hungry people and not focusing on the hunger issues and not the addiction issues is, is very troubling. I love San Francisco and I want it to thrive, but I'm worried that at some point the only people left will be the homeless. All normal people will have left. I hope I'm wrong. That last line was full mask off for Tucker Carlson. He basically let you know the way that he feels about homeless people. He said, I love San Francisco and I want it to thrive, but I'm worried that at some point the only people left will be the homeless. All normal people will have left. So according to Tucker Carlson, homeless people are not normal people. They are a subhuman species and they're not entitled to all of the goods and services that government provides to working class people. They're not like you and I. They're abnormal. They're homeless people, if we could even call them people. Disgusting. He just 
said that. He made a distinction between the homeless and normal people. Wow. So he's being shameless. And let's go through some of the quotes here. Quote, but one of but one group of Americans has no worry at all about getting whatever they want, the homeless. So out of all the people, it's the homeless who really have not a care in the world. They could just kind of sit back in their tents on the street and the government will deliver them food, weed, alcohol. Is that really what you're saying? Does anyone actually believe this? That one group of Americans has no worry at all whatsoever. Who believes this? Who has such a misguided idea about what it's like to be homeless that they could ever believe anything that he has to say again after hearing him say this? How ignorant do you have to be? On top of that, he says, in San Francisco anyway, officials are putting up the homeless for free in city hotels and supplying them with free alcohol, drugs, and nicotine. Now, this is correct, technically, but we'll get to what specifically this story is about. He also says, I can't think of a clearer signal to taxpayers, citizens, people who try to do the right thing because all homeless people did the wrong thing, hence why they're homeless, because they can't possibly just fall victim to the brutal capitalist system that we live in. They did something wrong. That's what he's trying to prime you to believe. Um, and stay sober, that we just hate you and we're spending all of our time on people who aren't contributing. Why would they be giving the homeless free stuff? I don't understand. Now, Joe Aliato chimed in saying... We're taking very vulnerable people and feeding their addictions, and we're not using taxpayer dollars to do that, which begs the question, where is this money coming from? So there's a lot to unpack there. First of all, why do we care where the money is coming from? If taxpayer dollars aren't funding what you're against, why do you care? Shut up then. It's not a story, right? Like, I can understand you being against your taxpayer dollars funding things that you don't like. I'm very much against my taxpayer, my tax dollars funding um, war and whatnot. But that's not the case here. You admit that taxpayer dollars aren't funding alcohol and cannabis for the homeless. So why are you taking issue with it? Is it just that you think that they should suffer completely and not have any help whatsoever? Um, on top of that, you know, there's this implication that homeless people aren't contributing, whereas working class people, they're paying their taxes. So why should they not get the free things that the homeless people get? And he literally said, why would they be giving the homeless free stuff. I don't understand. If you don't understand why the homeless are getting free stuff, then you're an idiot. You're an idiot, Tucker. It's because they're homeless and they have zero material wealth whatsoever. They are the most vulnerable population in our country. The fact that you can't understand, the fact that you had to ask why we have to give things to homeless, I mean, it just goes to show what kind of a person you are. You don't care about the homeless. You don't care about the less fortunate. Now, he tries to pretend as if he does by trying to pit the working class against the homeless. And this is disgusting because he wants the working class to be angered at the fact that the homeless is getting something for doing nothing. Why are they getting alcohol and you're not? Why are they getting free food, but you have to work for it? That's the implication here. But the answer is because they are homeless. And guess what? More and more people will be homeless because of COVID-19, because a record number of Americans are losing their jobs. So immediately, the question is, when you become homeless, do you just become worthless then? Or do you get a little bit of a grace period? Do you become a subhuman species to Tucker Carlson after three months of being homeless? Or does that take effect immediately once you lose your job? I'm genuinely asking earnestly, because the way that he talks about homeless people is so disgusting. I've never heard anyone, even other propagandists on Fox News, refer to homeless people in such a disgusting and callous way. Now, to the story about them receiving alcohol and, um, and cannabis and nicotine. Is this happening? Yeah, it's happening. But out of the estimated 8,000 homeless residents living currently in San Francisco, do you want to take a guess how many of them have received free alcohol? Take a guess thousands, half of the 8,000, less than 12. Less than 12 homeless people have received alcohol. And when it comes to uh, those who have received tobacco or medical cannabis, how many? A few dozen. That's it. So he makes it seem as if the entire homeless population in San Francisco is living it up. 
They're getting free food from the government. They're being put in hotels. They're getting cannabis and alcohol. They're just partying it up. No, that's not actually what's happening. A handful of them are getting this. And Tucker Carlson would have found out about this had he done a quick one-minute Google search. Now, do you think that he didn't have a team to research this issue for him? Do you think that he doesn't know that there's probably a reason why the select group of people are receiving these things? He knows. He's smarter than that. But this is propaganda. He's trying to turn you, a working class person, against the homeless when we should be looking out for them the most because they are the most vulnerable. Now, if you're against homeless people getting, uh, you know, medical cannabis and alcohol and nicotine donated to them, you shouldn't be because there's a very good reason why they're getting that. As KTLA 5 reports, San Francisco is using private donations to deliver alcohol, tobacco, and medical marijuana to a few dozen people dealing with addiction as they isolate or quarantine in city-leased hotel rooms during the pandemic, officials confirmed Wednesday. There are about 270 people, mostly homeless, staying in hotel rooms to recover from COVID-19 or to wait out possible exposure to the virus. Nearly a dozen people have received alcohol and more than two dozen have received tobacco, the San Francisco Chronicle reported. City officials said that private donations pay for the items and that helping manage nicotine, opioid, and alcohol cravings ensures that recovering people don't go out and possibly infect others. Dr. Grant Colfax, San Francisco's public health director, said the harm reduction approach is widespread and based on decades of sound public health policy. Our focus needs to be on supporting them, he said, of the people who are isolating or under quarantine. For people experiencing alcohol withdrawal, the Department of of public health calculates the minimum amount needed and delivers them with meals. The department also facilitates delivery of medication for people trying to kick heroin. The department does not help procure recreational marijuana. So that's the story. That's what Tucker Carlson is making such a big deal about. There are about 270 homeless people of the 8,000 who either have COVID-19 because they can't social distance if you don't have a home uh, or were exposed to it. And the city is putting them in hotels so they can recover and giving addicts who are addicted to alcohol, it's a physical addiction, the bare minimum so they feel a little bit less inclined to leave their hotels so the disease doesn't spread. Why is this controversial exactly? Why isn't it? And let me just go a little bit further here. Let's say, hypothetically speaking, that the city was just donating weed and alcohol to homeless people. Why aren't they allowed to have their vices? Why do we get to have our vices? We get to smoke weed, drink alcohol, but they don't get to have that same luxury. Well, to Tucker, they're not normal people. They're homeless. They don't fall under the category of normal people to him. They're not like you and I. They're not working class people. It's despicable. And uh, he says, so the Los Angeles City Council is threatening to, quote, commandeer hotels that don't want to become homeless shelters. Right. And they should do this because that's discrimination. That's discrimination. I can understand if they don't want to, you know, pay the extra cleaning cost if people have COVID-19, you know, to disinfect and whatnot. I get that. But you can't just choose to not allow homeless people to stay at your hotels because that's discrimination, that's prejudice. I mean, replace homeless with gay or Jewish, and it makes sense. So if these hotels are saying, we don't want to rent to icky homeless people, well, of course, the city should take action. That's unacceptable. Do you think that discrimination against homeless people is okay, Tucker? Well, I mean, I shouldn't ask that because it's a rhetorical question because he largely doesn't view them as human. He says that they're not normal people. So, you know, he doesn't care. But I mean, if they have COVID-19 and the hotel is saying, well, you know what, we're going to need some additional money to help disinfect the room or whatnot uh, for more medical equipment, since we're kind of looking after these people who have been infected. I get that. But to just say, no, we're not going to rent to you because you're homeless. That's completely unacceptable and unforgivable. And the city should commandeer their property if they're not going to rent to people, because that is discrimination. It's exactly what We've enacted laws to fight the Civil Rights Act and whatnot. Now, um, on top of that, he says, all the concern seems to be for the homeless. Like, what about people who are trying really hard to do well for their kids and make the society better? Like, they're totally ignored. Because, again, homeless are not normal. So they don't have 
the human aspirations and desires that the normies have. They're a subhuman species. They lack the concerns and desires otherwise normal Americans feel, like, you know, caring for their children and improving their lives. But here's the thing, Tucker. If you actually do care about helping average Americans, why don't you stop taking a paycheck from the propaganda arm of the political party that deprives normal people who you're speaking to, supposedly, of their material wealth at the behest of the Republican Party's donors? You do propaganda for the party who is leading us to this point where the rich have it all and working Americans have nothing, but yet you're preaching about how it's the homeless people who are getting everything and working people get nothing. I mean, this is despicable. And, you know, as much as Tucker Carlson likes to market himself as a populist and rail against the elites, he's not telling you he's part of that club. He is the establishment. He is an elite. He's worth an estimated $20 million with an annual salary for doing propaganda of $6 million. $6 million. Can you imagine making that much money in your lifetime? That's what Tucker Carlson makes in one year of doing propaganda. So don't let him fool you into believing that he cares about working class Americans. He's very explicitly trying to pit you against the homeless. It's disgraceful. It's morally reprehensible. And Tucker Carlson does not have the moral high ground here.